coming. Uh, I was out of town the last two weeks. I'm glad to say that the place didn't burn down. And that you guys are still coming. So uh, thank you, Eric. And I think Ali moderated the other week. Also, Alex, so, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, this week, uh, some good friends that I've worked with over the past couple of years. Um, really great development group who actually is not located in central downtown. They are out of Nixon, <laughs> and so you might have not heard of them yet, but they're uh, really a good team of developers, and they've got a very cool product um, that I can't wait for them to tell you more about. This is uh, Duncan Ingram, uh, Andy Duncan and Kim Ingram. So thank you guys for coming to present. Take it away. Sure, sure. So good morning. I always hate talking to people. I get nervous and all get out. Um, Kim and I have been working together since 2003 on web apps and design and stuff like that. And we incorporated and formed Duncan Ingram in 2007. And our focus is to develop products and the businesses that are powered by them. An example of that would be Tour Guider, which powers a startup that we're preparing to launch called Fishing in the U.S. And I think Kim can tell you all about that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm no less nervous than anything. Sure. So let me um, good morning. So yeah, fishing in the U.S. Um, we developed Tour Gutter actually a few years back, mm -hmm. and um, it's a software that essentially handles trip marketing or vacation marketing, as well as bookings and booking management from start to finish. Um, the product got put on the shelf for a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but then, like, uh, I guess it was maybe spring last year, yes. we decided to take it off the shelf, uh, refine it, and try to push it to market. So, and I want to say, I want to yeah. say that's a big challenge when you're you're trying to you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to make money doing a service job programming for people, and you want to get your own product launched. So a big deal about this is we funded it entirely ourselves, paid developers to work on it, so forth and so on. Yes. Um, so, and we decided the best way to showcase the product was to use it. So, um, we we have a friend, family member who suggested fishing. Uh, so, that's what we did. Fishing in the U.S. And he's a partner. He's probably fishing right now. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, uh, fishing in the U.S. allows anglers to come in and just search all kinds of fishing trips from salmon fishing in Alaska to catfish noodling here on the Tennessee River. Um, catfish noodling actually. <laughs> hand fishing. Literally hand fishing. <laughs> so so yeah. Um, and, and then they're able to book online and what fishing in the US does for the anglers is help them to organize that trip. Um, we're partnering with a local travel agency so we'll able to we're able to offer airline tickets if they need them, um, help them get their fishing license if they need it for a particular state, if they're traveling out of state, don't already have the license, um, help them find lodging if it's not included in the package and that sort of thing. And then for the fishing companies that we partner with, which includes charters, guides, and resorts, um, we help them with customer service, essentially. It saves them a lot of time and money. Um, we help them to get waivers and release forms signed. Uh, we take the payment, we collect the, the deposit, we collect the final payment, and that sort of thing for them. And then we also handle cancellations. So if somebody cancels, you know, we kind of deal with that. So they're all fishing, right? That's what they do. And, um, and they're really good at talking about the fishing, um, but they talk about the fish. And what we've realized is that doesn't sell the trip. So um, we kind of come in and do a little bit of marketing for them trip. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. And when we got started, we kind of fell back to our um, typical development process, mm -hmm. um, what we do for all of our projects. Um, and the first thing we did was, of course, paint the big picture. And then we kind of decided what it was going to take to make it happen. And uh, the first step, I think, really was just getting in touch with potential users whether it was anglers or guides or resorts, um, just start talking to them. And we've asked them for feedback the entire time. The logo, the colors, the process, the cancellation policy, I mean, everything. They've been really, really involved. 
Um, and it's been, it's been really good. Um, so the only other thing that we did kind of do from the beginning was a little bit of social media marketing. Uh, we kind of focused on Facebook. I think we have 14,000 14, likes now, so that's not, in my opinion, that's not too bad for pre-launch. Um, so that's going pretty well. And then, of course, once we launch them, we're really going to reach out there and do a lot more. Um, so yeah, getting the customers involved, working on sprints. Uh, some sprints were longer than others. <laughs> um, I think the biggest challenge with this project was actually funding it. Um, because we funded the whole thing um, in-house, we get some forms that got put on the back burner, you know? Um, and some sprints were not too exciting, you know, working with the attorney to establish your contracts and kind of going through that stuff, uh, which normally your, your client, if you're a developer, your client's doing that stuff, right? You don't have to do that kind of thing. <laughs> so that's kind of been a neat experience, actually. Probably um, the, the most exciting thing for me has been the level of customer involvement and, and seeing that kind of happen. Um, and we're doing our thing, you know, we're getting to develop like we always do, and that's the work that we love to do. But in addition to that, we're experiencing the client side of things, which we haven't really experienced before. And, and it's probably different, you know, it's not exactly what some of our customers would experience with us, but similar. Um, so that's been kind of a neat thing, and we're pretty excited about it. So we're going to launch this thing, hopefully, um, in the next the next month, I think. Um, what we did in the beginning was just kind of pick out some of the, the partners, the fishing companies that we wanted to partner with, and just got them involved. And now we're formalizing those relationships and talking about, you know, hey, we're going to turn this thing on. And we do ask them to go through all of their trips. They're able to log into their account and approve their trips, uh, request changes on the trips, and that sort of thing. So we really had to go through a lot of user stories to kind of figure out what we were going to do and how we were going to handle situations. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, a short presentation. But I, would, I would like to show you a little bit and um, see what you think. So, I'm not against that. Do the, do the guides uh, pay you up front or do you get like a portion of their... It's commission-based sales. Commission -based. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they, it doesn't cost them anything to get listed, and that's kind of a um, the lure, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice. So yeah, yeah they, they kind of get they get listed for free. If we don't book a trip, they don't pay any money. Um, if so, then we keep a commission. The commission covers all of our marketing costs, our customer service costs, and um, even credit card processing fees. So all of that's wrapped into one little bundle. A lot of them don't currently offer online booking, so this is kind of an improvement for them, and, and it's exciting. Um, so I think kind of a fun thing for me is the fish camps. Um, so if I go in here, you can see some of these uh, trips. Are, they're like these are the ones that I want to go on. Yeah. Um, so this is Bell Valley, that's in Colorado. It's a conservation camp, um, and it's like a one one week trip. It includes everything that you need. Um, and what you do on this trip, if you scroll down through here, it kind of tells you about what to expect, what you're going to be doing, where it's at, and that sort of thing. Um, and, oh my gosh, we can't just look at this and just talk about it. <laughs> you know? Um, but they actually do a cleanup project on this one. Um, and then they do a little bit of fishing and kind of learn about the waterway and that sort of thing. It's primarily for young adults. Um, so do you the content? Um, usually I gather pictures from them and kind of spruce them up a little bit. And if they have good content, we'll use it. If not, then we, we go back and rewrite that. Um, what I've noticed is they talk a lot about the fish. The people aren't buying the fish. They're buying the experience, right? And so, but these guys are fishing guys. They're not marketing people. So it kind of works. Um, you can actually book it. If you click book. We do have some cleanup to do, so let's say we're going to take all of us, um, let's do 10 people. Um, you can select your date. This is kind of quirky on my machine. Um, so you can kind of choose when you want to go. Let's say we'll go in August. And I kind of gather your information. 
and I'll go ahead and fill this out so you can see. We try to keep things really, really simple. We're using Stripe for credit card payments. Love it if you've never used it or if you need to use it. Um, I suggest it. I think we're waiting on the internet, maybe. And of course, it's going to break, you know. <laughs> well, that's turning away at something. But anyway, we try to keep it really simple. So what we do is we gather just the basic information, um, get a deposit, and then we contact our guide and check that they have availability. Go ahead and pay the deposit to them to reserve the date. And then we start communicating back and forth between everybody. I'm not sure really what's going on there. So, um, it's going to be a strike thing. You're not in preview anymore. Oh, so yeah. We're in the middle between preview and the yeah. live side because we are getting ready to launch. So some of these links are working. Um, another fun one. I think this would be totally cool. Um, this is another trip that actually works with a, a conservation group or environmental group who they catch the sharks, right? And they tag them and they do a lot of weight checks and measurements and then report back to this group. And they kind of monitor through fishing. You still get to go fishing, um, but you get to kind of participate in the monitoring of the health of a species in that area. So that's kind of exciting too. And uh, this is kind of a neat thing about this trip. You, you get flags for all of your catches for the day. You get some launching flags, so that's kind of fun. And then um, I'll show you the really fun one, right? That we all want to go catfish traveling. We'll do it. There videos. <laughs> um, we do have a couple with videos, but I don't think they're actually published right now. Um, so this is the noodling, right? This is just right down the road if you guys want to go. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> so you, you stick your hand in the water, this fish bites your hand, and wow. Uh, one thing that's been important to us <laughs> along the way is um, to make sure that we're participating in uh, fishing that is environmentally sound. Um, so some of our trips are catch and release only, and some of them are catch and keep, because if you have a feral species in the area, of course you need to try to deal with that, not let it get out of control and kill some other species. So, exciting stuff. Um, so today, what I would like for everybody to do, or tell me or talk to me about, is um, first kind of give me some feedback on this project, if you have questions or thoughts on it. Um, next would be to share the news. Um, Fishing in the U.S. is a startup company, but what we're really trying to do is push our product out the door. So um, we have some other ideas. We have a couple other people that are interested in using Tour Guider for, um, I think, mission travel. Mm -hmm. um, because currently, I don't know if you guys are familiar with mission work, but generally speaking, a church doesn't organize their own mission. They work with a mission company kind of pick from packages. But as far as I know, you have to go through various companies to choose and shop around. I think it would be kind of neat to have a site where you could go and shop for all kinds of mission trips from all kinds of companies. And then another one I think that we have been talking about is lawn tasting. I think that would be kind of neat. So it's really geared toward niche travel. But, uh, and then of course, just. DI is looking for another project or two. So if you know anybody that's interested in working with a good team of people through this development process, whether it's a startup um, such as this or just an existing project that maybe they need help with, that would be fantastic. I'll recommend it. Thank you. Thank you. So that's it. So, so who is your, um, who is your primary customer in this? So are you selling more to the person want to book the trip or is your customer the travel uh, the fishing company? I guess the customer in the end is the angler because they're the ones spending money, right? Mm -hmm. But we have to take care of our guides too, otherwise they don't care to do business with us. So it's really kind of split. 
But um, I guess the end customer is the guy. If you don't sell the trip, you don't get paid. Can you show um, this? It's not a demo. I'm not playing with it. Can you show the administrative interface? What sure. A, what a, yeah. So we, we built this with Django, of course. Yes. Yeah, Some of you probably are already very familiar with that. Is what a what a what a standard. Uh, if I was a fishing company, what I would be looking at when I'm filling out the forms. Oh, okay. Well, actually, what you would experience is it would be kind of confusing to show, but I'll kind of explain it, and then maybe we can kind of go through it. And um, so, what we do is we have a list of trip, uh, a list of guides. So we have we call them operators. Um, these are the guides that we've been working with so far. We have 23. Um, and what you want to do, here, we'll just go through the test. Um, so here, okay, what, I, what I'm looking at here is the, the company name, the person I'm going to be talking to, and where they are, how many tours they have listed, and whether or not they've actually joined us and become a partner. So let's say I want to get somebody signed up. So I can select them invite them to join. And what happens here is they get an email. Let's see if I can check my email. I think it's sent to me. So you can it for sure. Okay, I didn't pay that much attention. Oh, wow, it's got all kinds of. Sorry, this might be me. I get to see all my email. Don't forget our stand up today. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so anyway, what happens is they get an email that says, hey, um, you've been invited. And what happens is we go ahead and enter in all of their information. So we have information such as their address, uh, phone number, just basic contact information. And they get this invitation in their email. They click on the link, it pulls them into their interface, which is really simple. Um, they check all of that information, make sure that address, phone number, everything is correct, and then they click continue and they agree to the terms of service. At that point, we consider them joined. So yeah, they've agreed to all of the policies, cancellation policies, how, what happens if they cancel the trip, what happens if the angler cancels the trip, the commission, so on and so forth. Um, and once they've done that, then we start building out their trips. So when they log in, they actually see a list of trips and then they have to approve them. Huh. I don't remember the password for it. Because I haven't, well, I haven't been on that end for a little bit. But we can try. So they actually come in through, they have their own little Django admin for, for them as well? Or yes. Do they go Booking 
but the guide is responsible for listing their trips on the site. They're the ones that have to do the work. And um, I've noticed that they're pretty old. Not really, I don't know how helpful that is to people. Um, you know, the, it would take you forever. If you wanted to go fishing in Alaska, think about that. Unless you've ever been there, it'd be kind of a big deal. You, know, you don't know the waterways, you don't necessarily know when to go fishing, like when do you go catch salmon, when do you go catch halibut, when, when does that happen, um, and then where do you go? So who do you stay with? You know, what do you know about that? So the goal there is to go ahead and get that information in there. And I think with some of our competitors, they're listing the trips, the guys listing the trips, they don't, God doesn't think about like that stuff. Most guides that I've worked with, anyway, my experience. I'm not saying all of them. I'm sure some of them are fantastic at that. But um, my experience has been that they don't really think about that. And what's your, like, your background before you list a guide? How do you guys do it? We've met a lot on Facebook because they kind of, they're comfortable there. So a lot of them are there and active. Um, we usually will email them first. Um, I did start calling them and they're all on the boat. They're like, I don't know, call me back or email me. I'm on the boat, I'm fishing. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> we generally email them first and kind of explain what we're doing and uh, see if they're interested. We're not really pushy salespeople. Um, see if they're interested. If they are, then we'll reach, reach out to them, send them a little bit of information and then an invitation, essentially. But uh, how are you getting names? Like, and making sure that they're doing like, best business Kind of well, they're they have to provide us with a copy of their insurance, um, and sometimes we're taking a chance right now. Um, but essentially, researching them online and just kind of checking them out and talking to them a little bit first, spending some time with them on the phone. Um, we'd like to take trips. Um, I mean, that's why I think you guys should just take a trip every week. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk about funding. Are you gonna build in? Like a, a reviewing system, so that yes. can rate, yeah, rate that's rate. what I was about to say. I think that's that's in the works yeah. um, to actually get reviews. If we get a lot of complaints, we're going to be dropping the guy. Do you are you or do you have any plans to use traditional marketing, uh, fishing magazines, trade shows, that kind of stuff? To that's last on the list. Okay. Um, based on the users that we've been talking to. They don't really get a lot of return on that investment themselves, so we wouldn't expect to get any more. Um, our focus is going to be online because that's what we're comfortable with. That's what we know. So the search engines and that sort of thing. But um, <laughs> yeah, maybe Bass Pro Shop will come gobble us up. But uh, but yeah, I think our focus is going to be online. But we're certainly not going to dismiss any magazines or trade shows and that sort of thing. So um, the the engine that you have powering this, so say you're in this crazy situation where Brass Boat Shops wanted to buy you and you sell the fishing in the US. This um what is it? Tour guide, Tour guide or is licensed right. to so that's licensed to fishing in the US. So that's that's the the and they have to try to go out with that if they want to keep that and be totally a different company. Or they just pay us. Yeah, and, license, yeah, yeah. and what uh <laughs> how much of tour guider is abstracted and how much custom work was done on fish in the US? Does that make sense? <laughs> like to have how yeah, what, what services I think it's it's pretty generalized, so we could yeah. use it for any kind of internal system. Yeah, and tour guider got put on the shelf. Um when we took it back to Austin shelf and decided to push it to market, we essentially did a recon. Um, we brought it up today, and we did generalize it a great deal. So at this point, you could put just about anything in there. It's very, very open. Um, Some of the work has just been designed. For yeah. Products. But like, there are particular staying, you know, different kind of business model where I'm sure we might, you know, if we, if we start involving customers, there might be some feature that is unique to that particular vacation or whatever that makes sense. Like species, I was just about to say, that is one thing that we did put in there for fishing in the U.S., um, but it's not something that you have to have. It can be taken out really simply. I'll show you, when I put in a tour, I mean, it's just like one big box right now. As a matter of fact, I kind of sometimes 
want it to be a little more specific. Um, but we're just, I mean, it's just one big box here. Of course, I picked one that's incomplete. Let me go back. Here's the one that we just looked at. So, I mean, it's, it's hooked up to the, the operator, of course, and then we have some search engine stuff going on there, but I mean, it's just one big box. You can put anything you want in there. And then there's more information. Here are the packages. So it's really, it's just really generic. You probably got your email by now. It's, uh, yeah, I do see a new one going up here. There it is. Sure. So I'm going to reset my password. Except that it's accepted it's using example.com. So you're. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, this is, these are just the nuisances of being yeah. between real and not so real.
uh, fish for a couple of days for salmon and halibut, and then you move to hunting black bear for a couple of days. This is making me insane. It'll be okay. Angry action. I give up. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah.